switching on the record to someone that was battling. The battle's now over. Jawan Howard was fired from Michigan. Mercifully let on, go. On Friday. On Friday, I think it was. Dude, can we, can we talk about that dude's question? It was during the Michigan State-Purdue game. It was like right at the end of the game. They tried to steal to an opportunity. Us. We tied the game up, and they <laughs> fired Jawan Howard. I swear to God. They fired him right at that time. There was a lot going on at that point. Do we talk about the that? The guy in the post game that asked about like the race question? Dude. Yes. What are we talking about there? What is that guy talking about? That's probably Jason Whitlock. The pe- people in sports media that always bring race into every single thing. When- Juwan, do you feel that you're getting fired because of race, despite the fact that you just went 3-18, and you punched another coach, you've had many off-the-court issues, and your best strength and conditioning coach just left the program because your son and you like fought him? Like, Why wasn't that the question? You can't retain the best players. So you have to... You have no talent. Through the transfer you have no portal. recruits coming in. And through the transfer your portal, you're terrible poop. at picking, adjust, addressing talent that can compete in the Big Ten. Not to shit on you. It is, oh, it like, is it, crazy, though. It, it is wild. Maybe it's – I don't know if it's lazy just to compare it to Mel Tucker where you are like fully bought in because I tell you what, as bad as that loss to Hame Hawk is hurt, not getting to the Final Four. But like you think about that, he won the Big Ten in his second year. I know, like, there were some beeline guys, but he, credit to him. He brought in Dickinson. He went and got Shawnee Brown. He went and got Mike Smith. He did have Franz. Um, he did have Livers, but Livers got hurt for that run anyways. They lose that, and then he's bringing in the number one class in the country, and, like, the buzz was at an all-time high. Like, I could not have been more sold on Jawan Howard to be at Michigan for 10 years in that offseason. I remember and people then, on Twitter said that Jawan was better than Izzo at that point. Than Izzo. <laughs> and... Never forget. For better or worse. It was just like. Yeah, people get ahead of their skis. But it was very fair to say at that time. At that point, it was like, wow, who is the better program going forward? I don't know. I mean, the dude won Coach of the Year from the NCAA for his work and then was bringing in the number one class. 2021, he had three losses at one point. Just late into February, March. Dude, they, Evan, they. They were legit. Wisconsin was ranked like top 25 and they beat them by 40 points in Chrysler. They went on like a 25 to nothing run and were just dummying teams. And the (laughs) offensive sets they ran looked really sharp. He, I was so bought in on this dude in that offseason. And then they played cat and mouse, had a bad regular season, but made it to the Sweet 16. Made it to the second weekend again. Like, oh, we're still okay. We show up in March. And then. Wheels start to fall off more. You get the scandals, um, really on court scandals. Honestly, it wasn't even anything in the background. It was just like in your face anger, anger problems. I, mean, I think the you, locker room was pretty bad. Yeah. Well, so a lot of me guys. About the, and... the, the timeline of this events. It was we go back a month ago, and Ward Manuel was saying, "I don't. I haven't thought about getting rid of Juwan." And you had multiple people kind of plugged into the program saying, "I think he's going to get one more year, like Harbaugh did in the COVID year," but. Things continue to unravel. Um, the Athletic, Brennan Quinn and Cage Strang released a piece that was a little bit more inside the walls of Michigan of like people thought it was almost like a bullying culture. Though, uh, to be honest, if we're being totally clear, honest, the examples they gave in the piece were not that bad. It was just that Jawan like said he was going to slap the shit out of Jet in practice. But it's like dads snap at their sons all the time. I personally didn't think it was like a crazy story that they told. When I read it, I was like, oh, that's like what this expose is about. Like, this is what John Sanderson leaked to Brennan Quinn because it's so obvious where everything came from. Sanderson left, was mad, and then basically gave all the details of things he had seen, but they weren't that bad. But again, that's just, that's like the cherry Sunday on top. The record on the court is really what is going on. They won eight games. So I saw that uh, the president said Ward or it's you or Jawan. So that's why Ward did it. Like that's a ju- that's a juicy tidbit. I hadn't seen that anywhere, but I mean, I mean, you should have just fired both. You should have been like, okay, you fired Jawan, then boom, I mean, I, fire, just fire more right after. The the rumor <laughs> boards say that the Ward's not really doing this hiring that the president is. Whatever makes me feel worse. better. I think maybe. I don't blog think boys I th- are out there in full force. You you said, Evan, that the blog boys can be used for coaching searches. You did. 
Don't remember. It's nice to know who's in the running, but some of these people saying, yeah, this guy's a full guarantee. I have my sources. I have an app. The only, at any mission the only, coaching yet. So whatever Grant the only says, blog that's boys, what I know. The only blog boys that matter is the truly Donovan Burner account because that guy is so plugged in. It's not even funny. The but there's nothing not transferring Michigan. anymore, so... Well, let me look at the transfer portal list right and now. I have a feeling if you haven't hired anybody kidding. yet or if you haven't even had a word yet, that means the They're person coaching. that you're getting is a current active like team. Like the, the yeah. coach is still like coaching right now. That it, like could be Porter Moser now. He's available. He's going to the NIT. Um I do think it's it was just for- like it's like NFL or college football or anything. You don't really hear much. Obviously there's like rumors or whatnot, but you don't really get official until teams start losing. The juiciest blog boy rumors I saw was that Brad Underwood's interested. <laughs> Brad Underwood just got a no. fat uh, contract stipend just because he won the Big Ten tournament. He just unlocked like a bunch of incentives and everything. Heard Brad Underwood would be interested as well as uh, if I was Brad Fran Underwood, would not leave. Fran McCaffrey. Oh, you do not want that oh. dumpster fire. Well, obviously, Fran Can McCaffrey t- would want it. I was not a. Let me respond. I mean, let me respond to those interests. I don't want either of those coaches, respectfully. Nice guys, whatever. I don't want. Brad Underwood would make you guys good. Just... Brad Underwood has it too good. I don't want. Why would you want to leave that situation? He doesn't need to leave him. Would and... he bring Sanderson with him? Might be in then. <laughs> <laughs> Might be back in. I I could see this Brad going. I don't. Would be disgusting. I have no idea of a timeline. I I haven't heard any worried about that obviously you have that one end of the spectrum where bama football gets rid of saban and they have a coach in like less than 72 hours i don't think we're looking at that i think it could go at least a week to two weeks uh but again it all depends on if someone's actively coaching which i think we're gonna have to wait till this tournament starts to conclude which to is figure stupid out this, this is why ward's terrible at his job he should have done he should have fired him as soon as senior night ended i don't know if you guys played on that saturday or sunday he should have been fired and then interim coach realistically should have been coaching the Big Ten tournament because we know 14 seeds never won it. Yeah. To speed I do know up the that, coaching I mean, search that way you guys get out there because a lot of teams have already hired their coach or those teams have like signed an extension. Ohio State helped everyone yeah. out after they just hired Deepler, though. Yeah, true. But, but like this, South Carolina's but coach all... just hired a contract extension. He's not leaving. Uh, that's fine. McDermott though. just signed a contract extension. He's not leaving. Yeah, I don't think we'd ever get McDermott. I do have my my wish list. I will say, though, as long as Ward is actually having private conversations with people, which any athlete, athletic director that's worth their salt would already kind of have been calling people since, uh, I don't know, early, like halfway through the season, like January, Ward should be reaching out to people secretly to see like if it's going to go this way. So as long as he has someone or a couple guys that he's got like verbal yeses from, but they can't publicly say it because their team's in that tournament. That's cool with me. I know the transfer portal is a tough spot because that's already being opened up, but it's like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what else we're supposed to do. If you're going to wait for a guy that needs to finish coaching the tournament, that you're going to have to wait for him to come to Michigan. Cause he's probably not going to leave his team in the big dance just to take a new job. No. So this is what I have here. My short list. Um, I have them in four categories. Dreams, dreams with a little reality, realistic, and then up and comers are my four tiers that I have. Dreams, I hadn't even thought about this guy until I saw it in an athletic article from Brendan Quinn, who was decently plugged into the program. Maybe he was just throwing out there for clicks. He mentioned Tony Bennett, which got me really jazzed. I'd be so no. sad. I'd be so I'd be pissed. pissed. And when I thought about it, I was like, you know, he's got it made at Virginia. They love basketball there. But he has been there like a decade. You never know if people start to get tired of a place. He has Midwest roots with Wisconsin. Maybe he would want to get back into the Big Ten. I don't know if that's true no. or not. They did make the tournament. So he's not going out on a low note. If they miss the tournament, I thought this would be more realistic. But I guess if he wants to go, he'd go. He would be a dream for me. I would yeah. love Tony Bennett. No. Can't have him. I'm As much as say fans. Can't and that's how I know it's a good hire. It would be a great hire. For you I would be nervous. I would hate playing you guys. It'd be boring. It'd be year. boring basketball. I'll be, tell you would play some thirty-six to thirty <laughs> games. Pack line D, but good. It'd be a good um. I would your, because your, your recruiting would though. suck. You'd get like Without one like player, but you guys would have to do it on the team. You guys would actually. And he's used to recruiting at a school that has like tough academics, transfer Standards, stuff. So he'd be yeah. really good coming into this. Makes a lot of sense. Um, other dream would be Jay Wright. I don't no. expect it to happen at all. No, but no. that would be a dream. Can't have him. Me too. Vito. 
<laughs> I think <laughs> I think Bennett would be more realistic than Jay Wright. If I Jay's had not between the two. Jay's not coming out of retirement. Every, I don't think either really. Every would, coach but, is willing to listen, depending on the offer. Well, you throw twelve, thirteen million. We, you throw twelve, thirteen million dollars money. at Jay Wright. He'll listen. We have CBS actually. Studio money, dude. He's got to be making big money. Just promise Veto. that you'll start building up new facilities. Veto. The only hard part for Jay, though, is I've no, I'm not going to get into the weeds. Bobby it's not Huggins worth is it. available. I saw that it's flying around. <laughs> There's uh, rumors okay, that he's one. Louisville's number one target. Yeah, that would make a lot that'd of sense. Be, that'd be a good get there. All right, so now we got dreams with a little bit of reality. We're like, Doubtful. we're still, this is still shooting big, but little reality. The top person in this tier would be Nate Oates, but the extension does hurt that. Just I still think extension today, I if think. the buyout is big enough, I, I think extensions are more for show. I think if you pay someone's buyout and he would want to come back to Romulus, Michigan, where he started it all, that's the only reason there's a little reality there because of his ties to the Midwest. And if he got tired of, I guess Michigan's a football school too, so that doesn't really help you. But um, uh, Saban left. He's, he's outside of that chat. I don't know. Yeah, that probably hurt it too. If Saban was still there, I would be more convinced because he would have saw Harbaugh leave coming also, to Michigan. Building that Alabama program would be pretty solid and he recruits well there. I don't yeah. know. And he can recruit anybody. No academic standards. Next guy on this list, I'm pretty much all in on this guy. TJ Otzelberger, Iowa State Cyclone. Dog. He could hire. The reason he's still in the dream category, well one, he's doing amazing things. Two, uh, Iowa State is basketball crazy. That's the only thing they really care about. Uh, that's the A1 in that school, and he's from there. I think that's it's an alma mater job, so it's tough oh. to lure those guys away. But at yeah. the end of the day, Michigan destroys Iowa State when it comes to money, I would imagine. I feel like we could give a bigger bag, so I would hope that that would count for something. Next one. This one, wouldn't expect it because he's had success at his school, but little reality because – Changing conferences, um, bad athletic department. Mick Cronin would be sick, I think, for the Wolverines. I would love his intensity that he would bring, and I think he needs to get back to the Midwest where he was good with Cincinnati, and I would welcome him with open arms. I think that would be a good hire for you guys. I think that would be really realistic. He's been really good at UCLA, and besides this year, um, yeah, they're also a blue blue blood program. So hard to leave that, I would think. Still viewed as a top job in college basketball. It so, is. I don't know. It all depends on if he gets tired of that West Coast lifestyle. We'll have to see. All right, the last one in this tier, which I can't believe I wrote this, but I have to give the kid, the guy credit where credit's due. I also, funny enough, I don't think it's as realistic as some of the others in this category, but I did put down Shaka Smart in this tier. Because I have to respect what he did at Marquette. You never know. He bounces around. The thing that holds me up with him is that Marquette is so basketball focused. And I think that's where he wants to succeed. Where things didn't work out at Texas because they just care about football. And you might run into that at Michigan, which could hold him back. So I think he might just know what he has in Marquette. That they just love basketball. And they yeah, don't have anything he, else. Makes, he makes his teams guard hard. They play great defense. And... If they go in a run in this tournament, it'd be more of a home run. If they struggle again this tournament, I don't know. But it's impressive what he did at Marquette after going through Texas and people being out on him. He took VCU to Final Four, got Marquette, top 10. I would take him. Easy. Going faster now, realistic category, just two names here. Uh, this doesn't necessarily mean I want these guys. These are just ones that I think like we can dream about those, but these might be what you're dealing with. And the first one would be Porter Moser, who... Fine. Uh, again, it's all an improvement. I'm not going to be mad at any of these because he knows ball. Uh, but I, don't, I, I just can't tell. Like between the Loyola Chicago, he hasn't been as good as Oklahoma right away as I thought that he might have been. So I don't know about Porter Moser. They've been but bubble every year, pretty much. Part of me is like, did he just get like a lucky class at Loyola Chicago, and that was what it was? Because some of his other seasons weren't as impressive. So I don't, I don't really know what to make of that resume. Same one. That I've been thinking about, Dusty May is all over the place, buzz everywhere. They somehow got an eight seed. I don't know if again that was a fluke Final Four run or he's actually yeah, it was. smart. I mean, he's he's not dumb. There's no he's not stupid. He's probably great X's and O's. I just don't know what Dusty May looks like in five years from now if he's Michigan's head coach. Fair. 
And so the, my last two, which I could almost make a case in my own brain that I would want these guys more than those realistic just because it's like the young, hot, fresh thing. And then maybe they are your coach for 20 years if it works. Um, I really like the Drake coach, Darian DeVries. I looked up him a little bit. Midwest guy. Went to Sons Northern Iowa. Son's a baller. He's only been a head coach at Drake, but he's got three seasons where they've had single digit losses. Um, he walked in there 24 10. He's won 20 plus games every single year at Drake and winning the conference tournament multiple times. If you're going to take a swing on a guy from a lower level, I'd take a swing on him. The other one that we've talked about, it's kind of a bit, but I do like him, Drew Valentine. I think he'd be great at recruiting Detail. at Michigan. Relating to kids, and I think he's Me only going to go up toe. from here. <laughs> yeah, he's going to go right up into East Lansing in five years. So veto. What if Nate Oates takes that job? Then Drew never gets a shot. Drew's getting his shot. The one crazy name I saw floated in the uh, burner chat that I think was just from like earlier in the year is there was real s- smoke from people that. John Calipari would have been semi interested in the Michigan job no. at one point in time this year. That was stunning to me, and I think oh, with their hey, success, because they were going, they were going downhill, Evan. And I think Please. now that they're back up, it's fine. But that was very that's called to me. But that was, I don't know. There was multiple no, no, people saying like, bait. that's not real. <laughs> He's got the number one job in college basketball. Yeah, he has a lifetime. He does have a lifetime contract, but they'll run him out because if they don't, if they don't make the second weekend this year, they're going to be pissed at him again. They They've talk about that for the last eight years. Hot seat. That's what I'm saying. It's a crazy fan base. Dude, I'm pretty sure it's exciting to watch, um, like 50 percent of NBA players on your team every year. Like 50 percent <laughs> of the NBA is Kentucky. You should listen to a Kentucky radio show sometime. It doesn't. It's not Those all still rainbow. Those are sports. <laughs> no, they know ball, Evan. No, they don't. Their accents. Having oh. awesome NBA players on your team every year does not hurt. Well, why don't we win championships? Because it's college basketball. They're 18 years old. You never know. And you've won a couple, so shut yeah. up. <laughs> um, the other elephant in the room, obviously, is uh, do you entertain a second dance with Beeline? Mm. Oh, yeah. You do. I, don't know, I don't know where he oh, fits in with naughty. this. I would, I would take him over. I would take him over the Porter Moser, Dusty Mate here and take them for four years get things on track and then hand pick who's ever next i would i would easily sign up for what that. if he Who gets to hand pick yeah what if beeline says he gets john, to come back but john gets to pick the next one sign yes, washington i would love that no it would not be i would who, love who's that, that defensive I would, coach you guys that. said yaklich yeah dan dockage is available <laughs> <laughs> You'd have Donnie Trump as his assistant coach. <laughs> you guys can have uh, Gino Ariema. Huh? Why Greg not? Campy. Why haven't you said him? Oakland's coach, Greg Campy. It's a good question. Why don't I have uh, the, the LSU? What's her name? Oh, it's uh, it's Malky or something like that. Oh, Kim, Kim, Mal- Kim Malky. Are there any other candidates, like in a serious manner, not joking manner, that you guys would think are realistic for this job? Yes. Yes. Micah Shrewsbury. Oh, I like that. I heard someone mention him. I think the sleepers media mentioned two, him. Left one year too early. Should not have left last year for Notre Dame. I don't know what his buyout because they're a private school. I don't know what that buyout looks like, but he turned Penn State into a team that you did not want to play for a few years, and I can respect that because that's a tough job to take in basketball. Ben Johnson, he'd be good. Minnesota's coach, up and comer. Bryce Drew. What about um, Richard Patino in New Mexico? Lobo's no. dancing. Do you bring you him, him back, back to the Big Ten? Dumpster fire no. from Minnesota. I'm just, I'm just throwing out. Uh, there's a lot a of Mountain West. I just had a name. The Colorado State coach Nico Medved is getting a lot of buzz. He used to run a John I just D had a name in my head. Style. What was I going to say? Brester's younger brother. No, well, Bryce Drew is the younger brother of oh. Scott. Oh my God! I don't I think just there's any. Say somebody. Who was it? I don't think there's any other big fish that you go ask. Buzz Williams. I don't. No. Who was it? I like so so in. Seth Greenberg from the ESPN studio. <laughs> Jay Billis. God Jay damn Billis. it. Reese Davis. Sean Dick McDonough. Vitale. 
Sure, McDonough would, would give us the promised land. What conference? What I conference? Help I, us. I, I had him on my name, and I was just going to like type this in, type the type this school in, so you know exactly. You know, butcher his name. Now I can't think of what school I was going to type in. What conference? What part of the country? You can always flirt Billy Donovan's name out there. I would do that. I want that on the record. I would do it if we gave him enough money for recruiting. God, his career went so ships. strange. So, what was I going to say? They just left for the th- uh, Thunder? Yeah. It's like if Beeline like the, actually stayed the in the NBA, out. but like never really won anything. But like was in the NBA for a while and like decent, I guess. Oh my God. He's still so I young, too. Drew, and then I was going to type in Eric Spolstra. That'd be a dream hire. Where does Bryce your coach, over. Evan? Bryce your coach is at Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. Right now. And oh. that. So you're thinking of a West school. I'm Tommy thinking of like Boyd. a small school like Arizona. that. Tom Green's available. That would be great. Tom Green. Green. <laughs> the hard boss. <laughs> it's over. It's over. I yeah, can't I think all the, it's, it's going to hit I me think eventually. all the realistic ones are out there. You need to get, and I was going to like, Bryce Drew. I know he's a Green Cannon. Type in Green Cannon. Make sure. And now he's going to type in. <laughs> Evan, you don't Ew. have it. Just... San Diego State's oh, no. coach. No. Brian Dutcher. Um, <laughs> Red Wings update. They MSU snapped plays MSU streak, in the tournament. Again. We need Dylan Larkin back for the Islanders game this week. It's a huge game. That's all the Red Wings update. Michigan State, Michigan. All right. Big Ten tournament uh, hockey championship. Hockey. Should be mentioned. $530. Are you guys going? <laughs> no. No. But I'll watch. BTN. <laughs> Who was I? Oh yeah, I want to try to get into that, but I don't want to be like disingenuous because I don't really care that much about it. But I feel like it's going to be – like people are going to care about it a lot, so I should try to make myself care about it. I watched the entire semifinal game over watching – tournament basketball that's fair those yep. games weren't that was just the acc game at that point or no were you in the middle of the big east final uh, i was in the middle Maybe. of the big east final didn't even watch a second of that game because i knew uh, uconn was gonna win yeah i guess those were blowouts uconn blew them out and iowa state blew them out michigan's next coach tj Alsoberger. i was gonna tell you um, you need to get this guy <laughs> Maybe I'll think of it during. Is he in the NCAA tournament? I want to say yes, but I don't know. 